Hi everyone, hope everybody's keeping well. It's a bit, been a bit cold this week in the UK. It's minus eight here in Merseyside. And it's a long time since I've known it's been so cold. But anyway, last night, which was the 14th of December, I went to my first concert in quite a long time. And I went to Rick Wakeman's Grumpy Old Christmas Show in Blackburn. I went to see him in Blackburn because, well, that's where I'm from. My mum and dad live there, so I went to pick my dad up. And we went. It was a cold night and it was a Blackman King George's Hall. I've been up there on Saturday for the football and nearly got stranded with the snow. Uh, as, as we all know in the UK, we're not at all prepared. It's shockingly unprepared for any changes to the weather. So anyway, it said starts at 7 o'clock. So after finding somewhere to park in Blackman Sound Centre, which is awful at night, uh, it's... I think it's supposed to be one of the safest town centres at night because there's nobody about. It's a completely claw. I think there was a couple of pubs open and you look through the window and there's like one punter in it. Yeah, it's just a, it's just completely dead. It's it's it's, it's alright in the daytime. Visit in the daytime, but I mean, it's you know the museum's good and you know the shopping centre, the mall's alright and yeah, it's, it's but at night, skip it. Skip it, nothing is open, everything is shut. Anyway, King George Soul was also shut, so it's, the doors was also open at 7 o'clock. Now, there's nowhere else in Blackburn pretty much with, with a congregation of people about that time, so there's probably about 100 people outside King George's Soul, quarter to seven. Wouldn't you think that any ounce of commercial sense, you'd open it up, you'd get people spending money at the bar, but no, they, they kept everybody waiting outside till after seven o'clock. And I'm 49. <laughs> I was one of the youngest there by quite a while. You know, an older, more appreciative audience. Uh, some people there with very visible physical disabilities waiting in minus three temperatures. Shame on you, King George's Hall. You could have let us in the foyer, for heaven's sake. Anyway. About five past seven, everybody starts to get a bit, a bit annoyed. This bloke pops out and he's having a bit of a heated debate with the chap at the front of the queue. And he, he goes, this chap goes, well, if you don't want me to put a show on, and slam the door and back in. And it's just like, what an idiot. What an absolute idiot. So, yeah, thanks King George's old black woman for making us all absolutely freezing. Anyway, when we got inside... The, the hall, it was, on the, it was in the main hall, not the Windsor Suite downstairs. It wasn't much warmer. Bloody hell, I've never been so cold at a concert. No wonder Rick had an overcoat and fingers gloves. Come on, you know, people are paying good money, Blackman Council. At least, I know, the cost of heating's gone up. But you shouldn't really be sat in a hall freezing. It was absolutely freezing. Anyway, that, that aside... Rick come on stage about half seven. It's one last thing about this. The reason why we couldn't get in according to this idiot who popped his head out of the door was Rick was doing a meet and greet on stage. We went in and he was still doing it. He was sat on stage chatting to a, a couple of people. So what? Let us in. People want to spend the money as well. People want to buy buy food and drink off you, at least drink. And I think the bar was on. I didn't, I didn't. Anyway. Morning side, what a, what a wonderful show it was. I've seen Rick many times. I've never seen, I've never actually seen him solo. I've seen him do a duet show with John Anderson. I've seen him with Yes. I've seen him with Anderson Rabin Wakeman. Uh, I've seen him another time. I have seen him solo. I'll tell a lie. Playing Journey to the Centre of the Earth at the Albert Hall. I've seen him solo, but I've not seen a one. That's what I mean to say. I've not seen a one man show with him, and. It started, it was quite funny. The The stage was set up for the pantomime at King George's Hall. So Rick's playing in the middle of the uh, Jack and the Beanstalk uh, set. It was just quite funny. So he's got all this cardboard scenery around him. And I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture up there of it. So he starts off with extremely slowly. On it, so he's got a piano and two synthesizer controllers, mini controllers, whatever you want to call them. It's also very slow in the bleak midwinter and a couple of very slow numbers. Then he got up and said, well, now's, <laughs> now the fast-paced numbers are out of the way. So every time he played a musical piece, he got up and talked. Now, the first time he talked, the microphone broke down. 
and he's having to shout without a microphone to tell this tale. So, you know, what a trooper. There have been problems this tour because at Frankly Services, I believe, on the M5 motorway, some of the equipment got stolen. I think some of the, the controllers, the MIDI controllers got stolen. And they've, they've put out saying, look, it's a reward to have them back. They're of no use to anybody. It is such specialist equipment. and It's all programmed for Rick. And it's, you know, it, it, you're not going to be able to use it. And all the serial numbers are on it. So kind of sad. And he did thank his technician for getting the show. And uh, last week he had to play a piano only show because you know the control so they had stepped in and got the tech in within the last week which you know i wouldn't have noticed so he went on to play amazing grace morning is broken then he told a rather long story about how he survived the menopause five times four with wives one with mother-in-law and it was very funny went into talking about wives to his in six wives henry the eighth he played jane seymour and Catherine howard which were fantastic you know the recreation of the the the, the, the organ it really uh, brilliant brilliant stuff a bit of christmas stuff merlin the magician a bit of solo stuff a bit of bowie uh space oddity life on mars a song gone but not forgotten about his friends i think everybody's friend who likes this genre the late john lord and the late keith emerson two keyboard Legends are no longer with us, and at the end, help and Ellen Rigby, trans Rigby transposed into the style of the composer, and he come back and did a bit of an encore. It was all very jolly, a very, very, very enjoyable night. Yes, it was cold, but I think Rick warmed us up. His storytelling was fantastic as ever. His playing was amazing as ever. Uh, if you get a chance, it's the last few nights of the tour, I would recommend braving the weather and getting out there. He come on stage at heart. He, he gave about two hours, two and a, oh, two and three quarter hours with a break in the middle. So he was on stage for about two hours. So yeah, yeah. He come on at half seven, quarter to ten, near ten o'clock. It finished. Yeah, that's about, that's about right. Uh, but it was, it was Rick's Rick, and we all love him, and you know, he's a funny guy. So it was music, funny story, music, funny story, which you know, it, 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 I think a lot of people are. No, even though Christmas is going, you know, the world isn't the most jolly place at the moment. So I think you know it was a night that a real jolly pre-Christmas night out. Uh, <laughs> show about the weather, show about the parking, you know, show about the lack of parking in Blackburn. There's a multi-story car park next to King George's Hall, and it shuts at eight pm. So <laughs> great for the nighttime economy, but anyway. I don't go there very often, the town centre. So, Rick Waitman, Grumpy Old Christmas Tour at Blackburn, 14th of December 2022. Get in the Christmas mood, hope you are too. Take care, everybody. I'll see you soon.